Hello everybody, it's me, Eric B., uh, with today's message for you home sellers out there. My two words of wisdom for home sellers are, get out. When an agent brings customers to see your home, you want to make sure that those folks can see your home in peace and quiet, and they can take in all of the things that are important to them. So for goodness sake, when an agent comes to see the house, go take a walk, walk the dog, go to Walmart, go to Lowe's, the grocery store, whatever you've got that you need to get done somewhere, but get out of the house. That way the agent and the prospective buyers can be looking at the things that are important to that buyer. And for goodness sake, do not play tour guide. I bring this up because I was working with a couple yesterday who got to a house and on paper it looked like a great house. And when I was inside the house I could tell that it had a lot of the features that these folks wanted to have. But the owner felt this urge to go on and yap, 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 yap and talk about all the things that were important to him about this house. And I could see from their body language that they just wanted to get away from this guy so that they could take a look at the house. But they couldn't do it. So when we were outside by the curb and I wanted to talk with them about the positives and the negative aspects of this house, they really had a hard time remembering the things that were important to them because there was so much time that the seller spent yap yap yapping about what was important to the seller. So that killed that sale right there. Another example from a friend of mine who's at a realtor in Tennessee. He was working with a young lady who was looking at a particular home. The owner was playing tour guide. And when he got to the fireplace, it was a Tennessee marble fireplace. And he went on and on, yap, yap, yapping about this wonderful Tennessee fireplace and how he had to go to great lengths to find the perfect kind of marble for this Tennessee marble fireplace and that he had to go to different quarries to find just the ideal shade of marble for this Tennessee marble fireplace. He spent 15 minutes yapping about this Tennessee marble fireplace. Well, why was she shopping for a home? She was shopping for a home because her last house was burnt to the ground when a flu fire, a chimney fire, broke out and spread to the rest of the house. So here he was yapping about the thing that was the greatest pain to her, the fireplace. That's where all of her pain in the la from the last house started and here he is walking her back through her pain once again. So sellers, you never know what you're going to say that might be wrong but I'll guarantee that there's going to be something in your tour guide that's going to be the wrong thing to say. So, remember those two words. Get out. If you've got a baby napping upstairs and you can't leave the house, sit down and be quiet. Read a book. Read the newspaper. Go online. But sit down in a chair in the living room and just let the folks be. This is Eric Blackwelder wishing you the best of days. Bye now. Young lady was 